My name is Amanda Monaco. I'm an associate professor in the guitar department. I teach private instruction, jazz styles basics, guitar styles Ted Dunbar, and the Mingus Guitar Ensemble. A lot of it was Motown. We listened to a lot of Motown and James Brown in the house. My dad was a big James Brown guy. And then I really got into Joan Jett. I thought she was awesome. And, um, and I have to say that all the music on The Muppet Show is what inspired me to play. Because the early seasons of The Muppet Show, there was a jazz standard on every episode, but they would do something hilarious to it, you know? And I just really think that's how it got started. First of all, keep it simple, because if you can't play something simply, you're not going to be able to play the complex stuff. So I'm a big believer in foundations. I'm a big believer in figuring out like how every note relates to every other note, because there's only 12. There's only 12 notes, right? So I mean, one of the examples I always give is like knowing like knowing how C relates to every chord, how it relates to C, how it relates to D flat, how it relates to D, how it relates to E flat, how it relates to E. I could keep going, but I won't, but I, you know, but stuff like that, just really basic, take your, those 12 notes and understand them and understand how they go together and just be really, I mean, I'm kind of methodical about it, you know, but it is kind of a black and white approach, but with that approach, you get to, um, you get more room for experimentation because you have a foundation. <laughs> I think a guitarist should consider coming to Berkeley to study because there's so many opportunities. It's not just you have to play this kind of music or that kind of music, but you can actually explore so many different things. And every teacher here is different, but there's a lot of us. And we all have, I think we all have similar philosophies. And it is like a big happy family. So it's a really good learning environment um, and you'll be able to explore everything and nobody's going to judge you because you play this kind of guitar or that kind of guitar, you know? The first thing that pops into my mind is that when I was 17 years old, Young Audiences, which is a nonprofit, had a benefit concert and they asked me to play and I got to play with Mill Tinton and Bobby Rosengarten. And that was pretty special in a lot of ways, just because it was multi-generational, but it was also just sharing the music. It was the community aspect of it that um, has always stuck with me. Because mm -hmm. we were all in jazz ensemble together, just, there were probably like six or seven of us all really into the music and like hanging out and playing at each other's houses, you know? And, oh, check this record out, oh, check that out, oh, that's so cool. We'd go to shows together. And once we got our driver's licenses, I mean, forget it. I remember one time going to see Cecil Taylor in Hartford and then coming back to my house in, in Wallingford and we were, you know, we, we saw like this crazy avant-garde jazz and then we went back to my house and we, we were shooting hoops in the driveway. So it was just like kind of a totally normal. Balance beam technique. You ever watch the Olympics? You know, the Olympics for next year? And you got the gymnast on the balance beam, right? Right? So this is your balance beam, your D strings and your G strings, right? Because what do, what do gymnasts do? They are like on the balance beam. So there's your two, five, one. Right? But maybe they'll jump off the balance beam and go. So they'll jump back on. Because if you can keep it super simple and you know what a third sounds like in a chord, you get used to what a flat five sounds like and how that relates. Mm -hmm. 